The apostolic exhortation of the Synod on the Amazon is coming out next week. The Synod on the Amazon took place last October, where bishops from Latin America came together for almost a month to speak about the pastoral and environmental situation in the Amazon region. At the end of the Synod, the bishops asked the Holy Father to allow the possible ordination of seasoned married men due to a shortage of priests and appealed for the rights of the indigenous peoples. Andrea Galliaducci, Vatican analyst for EWTN News, joins us now from Rome. Andrea, thanks for joining us. Thank you for calling me. Well, today the Vatican announced that the post synod document will come out next Wednesday. What do we know about it and what can we expect? Well, the document will be certainly based on the final document of the Synod, the Pan-Amazonian Synod, that ended back on October 25th. Uh, the document, the final document was kind of a wide document exploring all the issues discussed. There are a lot of issues discussed. Among these issues, there are also the possibility to ordain married priests. In some specific occasions, the so-called biri probati, men of proved faith. But there are also other issues like evangelizing the Amazonian uh, people or fostering uh, the Amazonian culture to some extent. So we can expect that there will be some bite of everything of the final document uh, into the final text, the post-synod exhortation by the Pope. But still, we don't know yet. We don't know because the document was given by the Pope on December 27th, and the final version with all the translation and the refinement was ended on February the 2nd. And so we don't know how the draft then changed in the meantime. Is it possible that Pope Francis will approve the proposal in the Synod final document to ordaining seasoned married men? Well, this possibility has been widely speculated in the past days, especially with some alleged leaks from the final document. I don't think there will be a specific uh, a possibility to ordain married priests or an opening, a ch change in the doctrine, I would say. I don't think that. I, will think, I just think that in some occasions there will be a so-called Amazonian uh, exception which means that in some specific occasion where a priest cannot go, the Pope might accept some married men, married men of proof faith, as I, as I said earlier, uh, able to celebrate, not celebrate mass, to deliver the, the sacraments. But this is something already happening with uh, permanent deacons. So we have to see, because I don't think the Pope is going to change anything. I, I really think it's not really about that. How would these changes affect not only the Amazon region, but the Universal Church? Well, if there will be a, the so-called Amazonian exception, so if for Amazonia there will be, there will be made some specific exceptions in liturgy or in other issues, doctrinal issues, as we were saying, uh, well, it's possibility that other regions in the world will ask for their particular exception. I'm thinking above all about the Germans, the German church. The German church is now celebrating their own synod, and they say that it's deliberative and it's going to be binding. And it's also about issues like sexuality or gender issues, uh, homosexuality, and so on. So the Amazonian exception can be a sort of lead for other exceptions. And that's why I don't think there will be uh, the Amazonian exceptions will be so much fostered in the document that it will be something more vague, more based on concrete issues rather than on general issues. Andrea, quickly, uh, before I let you go, what else can we expect from the papal document? Well, I expect a papal document that is, most, that is mostly political, mostly a green document, another laudato si, another encyclical on green things, because I think the Pope has this vision of Latin American continent to be united. The Pope has, has been very much imbued by this vision. So this document will foster a new Latin American united under one main subject, that is Amazonia, main subject that brings up all the indigenous people, the native people, and that will try to combine native people with the new people that came after the so-called colonial people. So I expect the document to be a huge push for a Latin American continent, a Latin American strong continent, that will also be a source for theology. Andrea, thank you so much. Andrea Galliaducci, Vatican analyst for EWTN News. Thanks again. Thank you.